A nonprofit government watchdog group called OpenTheBooks.com has found Metro Nashville is giving $375 million in economic development incentive grants and tax breaks to companies over the next 15 years. There are some Metro leaders who say it is their goal to make sure that companies want to come to Nashville, make it a place they enjoy being at. Rachel O'Brien with OpenTheBooks.com joining us. And Rachel, we don't want to get lost in the numbers here. So my biggest question is, does this hurt or help taxpayers? What's your opinion? Well, so if we're talking about taxpayers directly, right, the, the $375 million that goes to these companies, it is coming from taxpayers. So Metro gives companies uh, $500 for each job they create. Um, obviously, taxpayers are the ones going to be holding those jobs, but they are sort of funding these businesses. Now, economic development officials say these incentives are a worthwhile investment. They pay for themselves through increased tax revenue generated by the company and its employees, but at the same time, they are also getting big tax breaks. So critics do call this corporate welfare. Um, so these large companies locate in Nashville to make it attractive for other companies to move there. Um, and this, of course, doesn't include any payments that the state of Tennessee has given to companies to lure them to Nashville. Okay, so my next question as a taxpayer is, who are the companies that are getting these big benefits? And were there any yeah. surprises when you heard those companies that are involved in this? Right, so Dell, right? Everyone, that's a household name. In 1999, back in 1999, they started on a 40-year property tax abatement, um, as well as getting $500 for each job they created. We've all heard of the four-star uh, hotel Omni Nashville. They got a $157 million package healthcare giant, HCA, which has billions of dollars in profits. They Their package, their incentive package is $66 million. Tire company Bridgestone, $56 million. Amazon, we all know about Amazon. They're poised to get $15 million from Metro for creating jobs. Again, well, taxpayers will hold those jobs. It's a lot of money, but is it worth it real quick? That's my question. Uh, that's up to uh, the, the people in Nashville who are, you know, whether they're holding these jobs and if they're seeing their, their tax money going to things, if they think it's worthwhile, if they think it's worthwhile funding these companies. Okay, Rachel O'Brien, thank you so much for your time. And, hey, if you want to read more about all of those tax incentives, do go to OpenTheBooks.com. We have all of that right there for you.